Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable Azure VM Insights. Now I have a test virtual machine as you can see on the screen in here. So let me go to that virtual machine. And if I scroll down under monitor, I should see Insights. Now this is something that is not enabled by default and unfortunately as of right now, you cannot enable this during setting up your Azure Virtual Machine. So you have to enable this feature after your virtual machine is built. Now, as you can see, I've got the enable button in here, which means at the moment, this virtual machine does not have VM Insights feature enabled. But if you want to check this at scale, if you've got hundreds of virtual machines and you want to enable this feature and you want to find out which virtual machines have got insights enabled or not, what you can do is you can click on the search bar in Azure portal and type the word monitor. So we are going to go into Azure monitor and in here under insights you will see VM insights. So click view and in here you can click on configure insights and once you've clicked on configure insights you will see two tabs in here one is called monitored and the other one's called not monitored I have only one virtual machine in this test environment and as you can see it comes under not monitored which means for this virtual machine Azure VM insights is not enabled now let's go ahead and see how we can enable Azure VM Insights for our test virtual machine. Now you can enable this feature from the Azure Virtual Machine window pane or from Azure Monitor window pane. So what I'm going to do is since we're already in Azure Monitor, let's just go ahead and click the enable button next to the virtual machine. And in here, once again, click enable. Now. First of all, we need to create a data collection rule which specifies what data is collected and we need to have a workspace created for data ingestion from the virtual machine. So if you do not have these, this process is going to create you a default data collection rule as well as a default workspace. So make sure the correct subscription is selected. I've got only one subscription. Now the data collection rule, it's going to create a new data collection rule. If you want to create a new one yourself, you can click create new as well. And then you can just give it a name. And if you like, you can enable this feature as well, which will mean that you will get processes and dependency data as well. So which will help with your Azure VM Insights data. You can review more things what's happening in your virtual machine if you get more data in but bear in mind that the data that is ingested to log analytics workspace is going to cost you money so proceed with caution and know how much data that you're ingesting if you've got really high number of azure virtual machines the costs can stack up so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back i'm just going to leave the defaults as is and i'm just going to click configure it is going to initialize the deployment. As you can see, the deployment is in progress now. This can take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video for now. And once the deployment has been successful, I will proceed with the rest of the tutorial. As you can see, the deployment has been successful now. Let's go to the virtual machine and see how it looks. So I'm just going to go and click on virtual machines. And I'm going to go to my virtual machine. And let me scroll down to monitoring insights in here now you can see the enable button is no longer there it says analyze data now if I click on the performance tab you will see shortly that there will be information that we can use to understand how our virtual machine is performing guys this is it for this tutorial I hope you learned something new. If you did, please help by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and if you've got any questions, make sure to put a comment there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day.